Hello guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to seamlessly place 3D text or a logo onto live action footage using After Effects. No third party plugin, no Cinema 4D, just by using After Effects built in tools. We will use the 3D camera tracker to match movement the material and geometry option to create 3D text or logo and the roto brush tool to integrate it naturally into the scene. So let's get started. Please help him get to 10k subscribers this year. Import your live action into After Effects and place it into a new composition. Select the footage layer, go to effect and preset Search for 3D camera tracker, add to the layer and allow After Effects to analyze the scene. Once tracking is complete, pick a stable surface point, right click and select create null and camera. If tracking points aren't accurate, adjust the track settings under advanced option. Go to layer new and add your text or import your logo and then convert it to shape layer. Move the anchor point of the text to its bottom, then convert the text layer into a 3D by clicking on this cube icon next to the layer on the timeline. Select the tracked null object of the timeline, hit P to reveal its position property, copy it and then paste it on the position property of the text layer. Duplicate the text layer, change its color, then on the layer panel, expand the properties. On the geometry option, change the extrusion depth and then the bevel option to get the looks you desire. To see the geometry option, you need to change your renderer to Cinema 4D. Right click on your timeline and then add a light object. You need to add this light three times, adjust its looks, position to create a realistic look on the 3D text. Now let's integrate the 3D text or logo into the scene. The text need to be behind the lady and the cars. Now select the main footage, duplicate the footage. Double click on it to open the roto brush window. Select the roto brush and start painting. You will need to hold down control key, right click to change the size of your brush. Then you can roughly select around the object you want to place on top of the text or logo. Hold down the option key to paint out the part you do not want selected. You can use the refine edges tool to refine complex areas like hair and clothes. So once your refining is done, hit spacebar to track forward. Once the process is done, click on freeze to freeze the entire process. Then close the rotoscope window and back to your main composition window. Then move all the layers above the text layer. Everything is now sitting correctly in the scene. There is one more thing we need to do to keep this very realistic. We need a shadow for the logo or the text. The Cinema 4D render doesn't have a shadow catcher and the advanced render doesn't support older GPU and this tutorial is intended to keep it simple. So we're going to create a solid layer, make it a 3D object and make sure the plane is white, copy the text position and paste it in the plane position, then hide the footages render it, bring it back into your composition and then set the blend mode to multiply and that is going to cast a realistic shadow on your scene. And that is it. 
you have successfully placed and blended 3D text or a logo into a live footage. This method keeps things simple and beginners friendly while still giving you a professional look. If you found this helpful, hit like and subscribe and let me know in the comment section what you would like to learn in the next tutorial. Until I see you again on the next one, my name is SSB Otaru from Motion Digit Studios.